Stitch 1 minute 8K Canon RAW 60 frame per second footage in less than 10 minutes on a MacBook Pro laptop? The new EOS VR utility and the VR plugin for Adobe Premiere are now 100% GPU accelerated and support M1 MacBook Pro and the latest Mac Studio. So, do you still need DaVinci Resolve or Mystica VR manually calibrate 3D for VR warranty video release on the MetaQuest TV or YouTube VR? This video will answer that. I will teach you everything you need to know about the new standalone EOS VR utilities and Premiere plugin and how to integrate them into my current professional workflow in terms of fast no job frame AK editing and color grading pipeline in c 3. If you just got the Canon Dual Fisheye list right here and new to the VR warranty editing, or you are a seasonal professional VR editor looking for rock solid workflow to increase editing speed and render quality, this is the in-depth tutorial for you. Let's dive right in. What's up everybody, it's your boy Hugh here, your secret weapon for making better immersive content. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and learn the ins and outs of metaverse filmmaking to become a pioneer filmmaker for a complete new medium. Canon just released an update on their EOS VR utility and VR plugin for Adobe Premiere that makes editing and processing VR 180 footage shot on the Canon RF 5.2mm f2.8 to fresh lens a lot easier. Here is a quick recap of the top 7 improvements you should be paying attention. Number 1. EOS VR Utility now supports Canon RAW and Canon RAW LT up to 60 frames per second. Second, both the standalone app and Premiere plugin support GPU acceleration like NVIDIA RTX 3090 or RTX 4090. Both now support Apple Silicon. We tested on M1 Max, MacBook Pro, and the speed is really fast. Average 10 minute per 1 minute video rendering. The PC version of the VR utility now has the high quality HVC4444 10 bit file format option as an output. This saves file storage space without sacrificing image quality. But I wouldn't recommend PC workflow. HEVC is not an editor friendly format, especially when you're using DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro X. More on that later. Premiere plugin now has fisheye display mode option for fast rendering without processing. This significantly improves editing speed. You can now add a lens mask on render. YouTube VR automatically generate a lens mask for you when you upload but not on the MetaQuest TV. So it's very nice now Canon allow you to do that without an extra step. With this update, now the dual fisheye lens support more Canon body. You can use Canon R3, R6, or the R6 Mark II with the dual fisheye lens right here, and the software can stitch them in a lower resolution. So even you own, own the R5 or R5C, you can use this lens now, which is good news for those of you who want to try 3D 180 format. These are all great. But now, how can you integrate all this upgrade on your current workflow? If you are a beginner, let's start by saying this automatic stitching calibrating software or plugins from Canon is not 100% perfect. It does not eliminate all the vertical disparity and it will create bad 3D if your scene is changing from the first frame forward like any moving shot. Like right here, we put a box to cover the camera and use a motion control system to review the frame behind the box. 
USVR Utility used the first frame to calibrate the disparity, which led to completely wrong 3D results. My advice is to watch the result in your VR headset, like the MetaQuest 2 or the MetaQuest Pro right here, to make sure the USVR Utility or Premiere plugin give you a comfortable 3D result. If not, please follow this tutorial on DaVinci Resolve or this one on Mystica VR or Mystica Boutique here to do manual 3D calibration. Especially your scene involve extreme close-up and breaking the 3D rule, like what you see right here. But in 9 out of 10 scenario, your camera is on a tripod with a pretty static scene. Using the VR utility or the Premiere plugin will be fine. Comment below if you need more detailed explanation on when not to use the Canon EOS VR software or plugins. Next, we will break it down into two workflows, RAW AK and not RAW MP4 workflow. The EOS Premiere plugin does not handle any CRM files, meaning you need to first use the VR utility before you can edit Canon RAW files. It sounds like a bummer, but actually this is in my opinion, a better workflow for Mac user who can generate ProRes 4444. PC vs Mac Don't want to go into a deep debate here and I want to hear your opinion, so comment below. With this update, I think the top specs M1 Pro MacBook Pro or the latest M1 Ultra Mac Studio, which I also just ordered, review on VR editing coming next are better option than PC. PC can only render HEVC 4444 10-bit. As you see here, I have a PC with Intel i9 and RTX 3090, 128 gig RAM. I cannot get a real-time playback in editing. HEVC is not an editing-friendly format, so I have to generate proxy in order to edit. On the other hand, with my MacBook Pro laptop right here, which spec is no way compared to the RTX 3090, get a pretty smooth AK playback on the Canon RAW render in ProRes. So in my opinion, Mac is better, until Canon can give us Avid DNxHR render. Canon AK RAW Workflow First, open VR utility and point the folder to where your CRM files located. Under VR correction, preview, check fisheye view to increase preview speed, jump to raw development tab and turn on quick development. Before we going any further, let's go to processor and make sure you check Apple M1 Max for best performance. For PC, choose your GPU. For me, it's the NVIDIA RTX 3090. Now go back to raw development. Under white balance, you can now use the color picker to post white balance your video. As you see right here, we like to slate and color chart our take. This is the exact reason why. So we can get color correction done before we even start editing. Brilliant, right? Hit the like button now. The benefit of using RAW is adjusting ISO in post. Here we will increase the ISO to 400 or we can keep native ISO at 800 and bring down the brightness to keep maximum dynamic range. We are going to keep the original color space in Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon C-Log3. Even I shot in C-Log3, but the software read as a C-Log2, so be careful here. Change it immediately. If you uncheck Quick Development, you can also adjust the sharpness and NR, noise reduction. If you shot in high native ISO, like ISO 3200 or even 6400, like right here in our latest release, Ghost hunting in catacombs of Paris. By the way, great VR experience that you should totally check it out right here and watch it in VR headset. You will want to use NR to remove noise in raw and add sharpness to bring back the soft image. This also answers why Canon RAW LT is so noisy in your video compared to MP4. RAW let you control noise reduction. Personally, I don't use this setting at all and keep quick development on for speed. I did lots of testing and denoising using neat video inside Adobe Premiere, tutorial right here by the way, or better, using DaVinci Resolve Spatial Denoising, yell a lot 
better, sharper, and natural result. If you go through the trouble to shoot raw, I would not be lazy in denoising. Using the professional color grading workflow in cinema to get the best image quality possible. The goal in raw development is to keep all the information so we can color grade in Premiere, which I will share you my secret to get the best technical color conversion without using DaVinci Resolve. It is a juicy episode. Just keep watching. Now go back to VR correction, turn off fisheye view, turn on horizontal correction, and turn on lens mask. As you see, the process is a lot faster now with Adobe M1 Max as a processor. Sometimes you do need to use manual horizontal correction. Keep your camera level during shooting so you don't rely on horizontal correction in post. Lens mask is a cool new feature. You can actually remove the lens entirely in Premiere easily. But I will save that for my next tutorial. Now hit export. This is the easy part. My goal here is to render out the file format that is easy for me to edit and retain the most amount of information for creative color grading. So no H.264, MP4, or DPX. We go straight to Apple ProRes 4444 if space is allowed or ProRes 422HQ if space is limited. Both formats will be already overkilled. They edit extremely well in Mac OS system, resolution IP 8K. I can play back 8K smoothly without proxy. Also, the speed is extremely fast. Mac win again in rendering speed. Now open Premiere and check out Canon VR plugin for Premiere. At the time of recording, I'm using Premiere 2023. If you run into any issue, I would suggest upgrade to 2023. Also, please make sure you install the corresponding HEVC plugin. Canon R5C is different from Canon R5, so ask your DP which camera they use and install the right HEVC codec. If not, the plugin won't work correctly. If you shoot in MP4 AK, you can simply drag and drop the fisheye file into Premiere. They are already processed into VR 180 format. It is so freaking fast in the M1 MacBook Pro. If not, check your project setting and make sure you are using Metal. If you go to Effect Controls Source, you see the EOS VR plugin right here. Doing story editing, I like to have max speed, so I turn on fisheye view. All the other settings gray out, but now it is a lot faster. Well, in fact, they are both dropping frames, but at least the fisheye view drop less frame than the stitch view. But here is a huge kicker. I drop in the ProRes 4444 render from the US VR utility into Premiere and play. Holy moly, zero drop frame and it playback smoothly in 8K on a MacBook Pro laptop. Here's just show you again why I never use the US VR Premiere plugin and I always shoot with RAW and pre-process them in either Canon US VR Utility or Mystica VR before editing in Premiere or Resolve. MP4 or HGVC is not for editing. Just this single tip alone will save you hours of frustration. So don't forget to give this video a like and if you can, hit the donation button to buy me a cup of coffee or beer. Okay, back on the MP4 in effect control panel. Here is another tip for you. Create fisheye preview preset by right click on the US VR plugin, save preset, now uncheck fisheye view, turn on parallax correction and horizontal correction. Go ahead and check the lens mask as well. Now right click again and save as another preset. Call it render. Now switching between fisheye editing and the final render is super easy. All you need to do is to select all the MP4 files, go down to effects panel, presets, and drag and drop in the fisheye preset. Bam! All the files turn into fisheye immediately. If you drop in render presets, all the clips become VR 180 final render format with lens mask and your sequence is ready to render out. It is that easy. Now time for the bonus point. 
how to quickly color grade Canon C Log 3 Cinema Gamut. This video is all about speed. If you want to create it color grade, I will still suggest my Resolve tutorial or my Mystical Boutique tutorial right here. Let's use the RAW clip from US VR Utility. RAW and MP4 is the exact same workflow in c -Log. I use a magic plugin called Cinematch. It is not free plugin, but it is super powerful and provide color accurate technical conversion. Under Cinematch, choose your camera and choose color space. Camera is Canon, RFIC, and Cinema Gaming c -Log 3. If you want to match your color space light to RE Alexa Mini, and use a professional RE LUT, now you can. From here, I just apply Rack 709 Transform. They will also gonna put in Meta CV1 Transform in the upcoming future as well. I'm talking to them to add this into their future update. Now, the lock load is disappeared. Nice. Turn on VR mode. Oops. So, EOS VR Utility inject the wrong Meta and Premiere think this is a 360 video. Easy fix though, go to Sequence, Sequence Setting, Layout, Pick Stereo side by side, and Capture View is 180 degrees. Hit OK, now turn on Taco VR Display, fix it. If Canon is watching this tutorial, please fix your injection meta so Premiere can display VR correctly. Now I see Kitty's face. Pick Skin Tone here and turn on False Colors. Turn down the exposure until you see only her face is orange. There. This is the perfect exposure. The beauty on raw media and c 3 color profile. It is really hard to nail perfect exposure on set in a run and gun documentary. Having this tool give me confidence that I can always fix that in post. Now, just go down to secondary color control and add a contract as curve and we are ready to go. If you do not want to purchase third-party plugin, you can also use a technical conversion LUT. Canon provide one already for free, but I like to use third-party conversion LUT right here. You can read more here why this is better than the Canon official conversion LUT. They also has really cool color green LUT that created by industry professional. I provide the link down below so you can check them out. Thank you for watching another in-depth tutorial on VR 180 editing. As you see, Premiere is not necessarily the best tool for VR editing. Not only does it really expensive, it also really slow and not practical even with the official US VR plugin. So I would suggest only getting the US VR utility software and edit inside DaVinci Resolve or Mystica Boutique. Wei Hill. How to edit Canon VR 180 in Resolve? Well, I already have one tutorial right here using the Resolve 17. I am also making one in Resolve 18, hopefully coming out soon in 2023. It is not really true that Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve does not support VR editing. They do, and just no one teach you how yet. And this is why you subscribe to this awesome YouTube channel to learn from the best. So don't forget to also hit the notification bell and give this video a big thumb up. We have a lot more beginner friendly and advanced editing tutorials coming in 2023 designed to help you get high pay editing job in the growing metaverse filmmaking industry. If you are so sick of making the same thing over and over again and get no attention in the crowded 2D video space, 2023 is a good year to jump on board with us, learn immersive filmmaking, and tell stories that impact your audience like never before. Until next time, stay fresh my friends.